Hey guys, I hope you're all doing great and welcome to today's video in which we are talking all things red lip. I wanted to make this video because I feel like there are so many people who are missing out on red lip unnecessarily. I genuinely believe that every single person can look absolutely incredible with a red lip. And I feel like there are so many myths that surround wearing a red lipstick. Number one, those that say, I don't suit red lipstick because I have rubbish lips. My lips are too thin. But within makeup, we have lots of tools to help with that. So for example, lip liner. I know some people don't really like using lip liner or think that they don't suit it. But look, as we get a little bit older, our lips lose pigment and it can be really hard to find the outline of our lips. I know I've completely overlined my lips today. I have to if I want to have a little bit of fullness and I also have asymmetrical lips, but that does not stop me wearing red lip. Now, lip liner is an amazing tool for giving the illusion of fuller lips, but also wearing maybe a glossy red lipstick would be an option because when the light reflects against glossy lips, it can actually give the illusion of fuller lips. Now, I'm not going to be covering glossy lipsticks today because I feel like Glossy lipsticks are not as transfer proof as matte lipsticks. So all the lipsticks that I will suggest today are matte, but if you, when you are feeling confident to branch out a little bit and you want your lip to look a bit fuller, a glossy lip can really help with that. And the second thing that people say to me, and this is the worst one of all, I'm too old for red lipstick. Oh no, 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 no. Nobody is ever too old to wear red lipstick. Red lipstick is classic, it is timeless, it is beautiful on anyone of any age, of any skin tone. So don't come at me with this whole I'm too old for red lipstick thing because I ain't having it. And the most common thing that people say is, ah, I just don't suit red lipstick, it just doesn't look good on me. Well, do you know what? If you are one of those people that thinks that red lipstick doesn't suit you, I'm thinking that you've just tried the wrong shade of lipstick. Just like our skin has different undertones, red lipstick has different undertones too. A really sensible way to choose a red lipstick is to start with our own undertone. Now, you might be sat there and think, yeah, I know what my undertone is. I'm completely clear on that and that's amazing. But if you don't have a clue or you're unsure, let's talk about it a little bit. Your surface skin tone is what we can see. So whether you are fair, whether you are medium, whether you are dark, your undertone is something a little bit different and undertone is really important to figure out when choosing makeup. So we often talk about undertone when we are choosing a foundation, but it's not just about foundation. Red lipstick falls into this so heavily. And I think this is why people start to hate red lipstick is because they're choosing a red lipstick with the wrong undertone. Let's just have a look at what undertone you are. So the best way to do this is to go out into natural daylight and just take a look at your wrists. Now, when you're looking at your wrists, if you are seeing predominantly purple and blue veins, then that would suggest that you are more of a cool tone. If you are looking at your wrist and you're seeing green veins, that would suggest that you are a warm tone. If you are looking at your wrist and you're seeing a mixture of the two, that would suggest that you are more of a neutral undertone. Another good skin undertone test is to think about how you react in the sun. So if you go out in the sun and you don't tan and you burn really easily, that would suggest a cool tone. If you go out in the sun and you tan really lovely and you don't tend to burn, that would suggest a warm tone. And if you are a neutral, you're kind of somewhere in the middle. So you will tan, but if you get too much sun exposure, you will burn. And another test to try and figure out your undertone is to pop on some jewelry. So if you think that you only suit silver jewelry and definitely not gold, that would suggest a cool undertone. If you think that you only suit gold, that would suggest a warmer undertone. And if you think that you can get away with both, you can wear gold or silver, you're one of the lucky ones and you could be neutral. So red lips tend to match with the undertones of our skin. So they either have a cool, they have a warm, or they have a neutral undertone. So warm red lipsticks have more of an orangey undertone. Cool lipsticks have more of a bluey, sometimes pink undertone. Neutral undertones swing neither one way or the other. They are classic true reds. Some would say that classic and true reds suit everybody. So I thought it might be useful to provide a visual summary of what I'm talking about. So if you think you have cool undertones, a great place to start is with a blue or a pink based red lipstick. If you think you have warm undertones, it might be an idea to start with an orange or a yellow based red. And if you have neutral undertones, theoretically, you should be able to start with any red lipstick with any undertone. 
And just a little side note for those that have olive skin like I do, don't assume that you have warm undertones just because you're an olive. Olives can be warm, they can be cool, they can be neutral. So you kind of just need to figure out where you fall on that spectrum. I'm going to be showing you examples from each of those categories. So I'm going to be showing you two different types of warm lipstick, two cool lipsticks, and I'm going to be showing you some classic red lipsticks too as well. And just a little disclaimer that just because you are cool tone doesn't mean you, you can only wear cool tone lipstick. And just because you are a warm tone doesn't mean you can only wear orangey reds. I think just figuring out your undertone and trying something within that bracket is a really good introduction to a red. Obviously take into consideration everything, your hair color, your complexion, your preferences, but undertone is a really sensible place to start. But before we get into the lipsticks, I just wanted to let you know that I do post videos like this on a weekly basis. So if that sounds like something that you might be interested in, then please do consider subscribing to the channel because I would love to have you here. So, red lipsticks, let's get into it. Before we get started, I would suggest keeping everything quite simple. It's why I've worn a really plain white shirt today, very minimal jewellery. I don't want it to detract or take away from the colour that we're focusing on. So that would just be a little tip. Just keep things quite minimal. And I know people will probably ask me about the rest of your makeup with a red lip. And as you can see, I've kept things really, really straightforward and simple today. Now I have to have shimmer on my eyes. I have to. <laughs> so I've kept it really simple with a simple nudie pink shimmer and just some pinky mauve tones as a transition and a crease shade. You do not need to be going crazy with your eyes when you are wearing a red lip. And that's the beauty of a red lip is it's kind of a center stage, but not in an awkward way, in a really positive way. So you don't need to be focusing too much on your eyes. Now that does not mean that you cannot go bold with your eyes because 100% you can go bold, smoky and dark with a red lip. You need to just think about what your preference is. Remember, makeup is 99% based on preference. So whatever you feel comfortable with, go with it. So yesterday evening, I prepped my lips with the Basic Skin Strawberry Lip Scrub. And I also used my MAC Lip Prep and Prime, which is just so perfect, especially if you are going to be wearing a matte lipstick. It just gives you a little bit of hydration and a really nice base. So we're going to be starting today with our warm based reds. Um, so these are predominantly orangey based. And we're just starting with the Velvet Matte Lip Pencil from NARS. And this is in the shade Red Square is described as a bright orangey red medium to full coverage it is a matte finish and enriched with vitamin e the real beauty of using a lip pencil all over the lip is that you can use it as a lip liner but also to fill in the lips also i really love these lip pencils they are so comfortable on the lips So a red square, this is a prime example of a really bright orangey red, super, super warm toned. Now I don't mind this on my skin tone. I do think that it does complement the warm tones that I have in my skin, but for me, it boils down to preference. So I feel really pasty right now. I feel really washed out because in the winter, that's how I am. And I think a lot of olives will relate to that. So a bright orangey red doesn't feel like the one for me in the winter time. Now, don't get me wrong. I do like this shade. Otherwise I wouldn't have bought it and I wouldn't have used it. I do prefer it more in the summertime. One thing that does put me off a warm red is that they can make your teeth look quite yellow. So that is something to bear in mind. So the warm tones in the lipstick will actually emphasize the warm tones in your teeth. So they will actually accentuate the yellowness of the teeth. Now I'm not saying that my teeth look terrible because they, they don't look terrible, but they don't look as good as they do with a cool red. But I think if you do have a super warm undertone, you will love a shade like this. Don't be scared of orangey reds. They can be really, really flattering, especially when you have that lovely warm undertone. So, so the next warm toned red lipstick I'm going to show you is a little bit different. And this one is from Charlotte Tilbury and it's called Walk of No Shame. And this is more of a deeper 
warm toned red. Some people might say that they didn't actually know that this was a red, but yes, it's definitely a red. It's just a little bit less scary and a little bit deeper. I am going to use a lip liner with this. I'm actually going to use a Rare Beauty lip liner today and it actually matches perfectly. So let me show you this on. So I'm just starting by lining my lips with the Rare Beauty lip pencil in the shade Admired. So the Charlotte Tilbury Walk of No Shame is part of the Matte Revolution collection from Charlotte Tilbury. Walk of No Shame is described as a berry rose shade and these lipsticks claim to give you up to 10 hours wear and they do feel hydrating on the lips even though they are a matte formula. So that's Charlotte Tilbury Walk of No Shame. I think this is gorgeous and it's not as out there as the other orangey red that I just showed you from NARS. This is definitely more toned down. For me, it feels a little bit more sophisticated, even a little bit more sexy than the other one. I think this is beautiful. Another thing I love about this is that I think a lot of people would feel confident wearing this in the day and the evening. Let's say you're going out for the day and you're going into the night too. This is perfect for both. And because I do understand that some people don't like wearing red lipstick in the day because they feel like they're too done up. They feel like everybody's looking at them. They feel like their lips walking before they do. But I don't think you would with a color like this. Give this a whirl if you are just not feeling ready to step into the bold world of super red lip. Don't rule this out if you are cool toned. Just because you are cool toned doesn't mean you can't wear warm and vice versa. Don't rule out any option. Just use your undertone as a base and go from there. This is a beautiful, beautiful shade. I definitely recommend it if you are feeling a little bit scared of the bolder reds. It's beautiful. Okay, when it comes to cool toned lipsticks, I feel like, this might be an unpopular opinion, but I actually feel like cool toned lipsticks suit the majority of people, whether you are warm or cool toned or neutral. But the two red lipsticks that I'm going to show you are from MAC. Now we all know MAC are so well known for their lipsticks. That's what they're famous for. And they have some phenomenal red lipsticks. And I know that some people are gonna be really disappointed that I've not chosen their favorite red lipstick. I actually picked two that I think are quite universal. Now they are similar, but they are very different also. So I'm going to start with probably the most famous MAC red lipstick, and that is Ruby Woo. So this is a cool toned red lipstick, and you know, she's an absolute beauty. MAC state that they produce this lipstick to be universal. So it does have some bluish tones in there. They claim that this will suit every skin tone. Now, I really like it. The only drawback for me with this lipstick is that it is so matte. It is so, so matte. So if you are a bit scared of matte lipsticks, then you will probably be terrified of this one. Now it's not uncomfortable, but it's the most matte formula that I've ever used. So I have to use a lip liner for this and I'm using an Old Faithful. This is by NARS. I don't even know if they do this anymore, but it's called Jungle Red and it is the most perfect red lip liner. I am definitely going to use this before I use Ruby Woo and before I use the next one, just because I think it can get a bit messy if you don't use a lip liner. Yeah, so let's, let me show you Ruby Woo. Just lining my lips with Jungle Red Lip Liner, which is very beaten up and well loved. Ruby Woo is part of the MAC Retro Matte Collection and is described as a vivid blue red. So Ruby Woo is a super matte, non-fading formula that will give you up to eight hours of wear. So that's Ruby Woo. And I do think you can see those bluish tones, but I think it is flattering. And the one great thing about cool toned lipsticks with blue undertones is that they make your teeth look white, um, which is such a bonus. And people wonder why that happens, but basically the cool tones of the lipstick counteract with the yellow in your teeth. It gives you the illusion of a whiter smile. So yeah, an absolute bonus. I absolutely love Ruby Woo. Such an absolute iconic lipstick within the MAC collection. 
and an absolute ride or die for so many. It's a lovely shade that is universally flattering, I would imagine, for a lot of skin tones and it just gives you that pop of colour without looking gaudy. I think it's really beautiful. And there we have Ruby Woo. So the next lipstick from MAC under the cool tone section has featured on my channel before. It is one of my all time favourite red lips and it is Russian Red. It is a deeper shade than Ruby Woo. I would say that my favourite all time red lipstick is actually Ladybug from MAC but I didn't include that today because number one, it's really hard to get. I don't know if they have discontinued it, but it's really hard to get. It's out of stock everywhere. But the second reason is that it's a kind of a glossy lip and I wouldn't like you to try something that was glossy and then it get really messy and you decide that you hate red lip. <laughs> so that's why I'm just sticking to the mattes today. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to line my lips again with the NARS lip pencil. My lips are getting a bit dry now. <laughs> So Russian Red is a cool toned red and is described as an intense bluish red. It is bold, it is colour rich and it is classic and it will give you a full matte finish and a comfortable 10 hours of wear. So there we have Russian Red. I think this is a really stunning red. As I said, it's a little bit deeper than Ruby Woo. I have applied my lipsticks straight from the bullet, straight from the applicator. I think a lot of makeup artists would suggest using a lip brush, which is a really good idea because that way you have more control. You can kind of paint it on and deepen it up. Um, whereas obviously if you're using a big bullet like this, it's going to be a little bit more tricky. So that's a good tip to think about. Consider using a lip brush to apply the red lip, especially if it's a bolder colour. I mean, my application is very far from perfect, but it would obviously have been better to use a lip brush to have more control, to stay within the lines a little bit because it is so hard to get it perfect. I do prefer it to Ruby Woo. On my skin tone, I feel like the deepness of the red just complements my skin tone a little bit better. And I do prefer it just because it's not as matte and it feels a little bit more comfortable on the lips. I also love Russian Red because of the whole teeth whitening thing. I think it makes my teeth look whiter than what they are. And yeah, it's just a really beautiful, cool toned red and not as scary as what you think it's going to be. Yeah, there we go, Russian Red. So now we are moving on to the section of neutral red lipsticks. So this is the NARS Power Matte Lip Pigment, which is a full coverage liquid lipstick. And this is in the shade Don't Stop, which is described as a geranium red. And this will give you long lasting full coverage and a matte finish. So these liquid lipsticks that I'm going to show you are neither cool toned or warm toned. They are described as true classic reds. So this one is NARS Don't Stop. And this is described as a true red. I like this colour. It's super comfortable. It's not 100% transfer proof, so that has been on my lips for a little while now, and it has still transferred a little bit. It is very, very minimal, and you will not find it plastered all over your face during the night and during the day. I really like this classic red, and would definitely be a recommendation if you are wanting to branch into something a little bit more bold, something a little bit more classic, I would definitely recommend this. And this would definitely suit every skin undertone, but take into consideration your whole complexion, your hair color, is a bold red lip a preference of yours? Think about all those things. Definitely one of my most favorite classic red lips. I feel like my lips are starting to look a bit crazy now. <laughs> If I've got it all over my face and I'm not realizing, I apologize. <laughs> so this next one is actually from the Sephora collection. And this is a liquid lipstick that I actually got free. Yeah, I did, I got it free. Got this free when I, I think I'd spent over a hundred in Sephora and you know, they send you those little gift bags full of little products. Well, I got this and 
very happy with it. This is a really comfortable liquid lipstick and this is described as a classic true red. So it should suit most people. And this is the applicator. This is in the color 01. Now I've included 01 in this section because it is described as a classic red, which is what I would agree with. However, I have seen it described as having some muted cool tones, but I do think it is a color that would suit most people. It claims to be creamy, weightless and transfer resistant. And lasts all day. So, you, so this is from the Sephora collection, which means it's a little bit more affordable. And I really like this, super comfortable on the lips. So transfer wise, really good, like barely any. And I do think that with a liquid lipstick, you kind of need to give it a little bit of time to dry down. The only thing that I would say about this lipstick, although it's comfortable with lipstick, I kind of like to be able to lick my lips a little bit. <laughs> I don't know whether that's strange, but when I lick my lips with this on, I can feel it there. It's definitely not invisible like the others would be. So that's something to bear in mind if you're a lip licker. Like, I, you know what I mean though, don't you? You know, I just like, I mean, pursing my lips together is fine. Licking them feels weird. It feels a little bit, I don't know whether it feels like there's a bit of a texture on there. Yeah, this should suit any skin tone, whether it be warm or cool or neutral, a good one to try out. So uh, Sephora 01. So last but not least, I have my last classic red to show you, and this is from Stila, and it's called Beso or Beso. I actually don't know how to pronounce it. And there's a very good reason why I've left this until last. It is really hard to remove. In my experience, it's so hard to remove, which would ordinarily put me off makeup, but I just love the color. The color is stunning. Usually I can remove red lipsticks with um, a wipe or with makeup remover, but I actually have to use my cleanser to get this off, like my actual cleanser that I use on an evening. So I thought it was wise to leave this till the end. <laughs> but if you're going out to a Christmas party, if you're having a meal, this is the one to go for because this is not transferring as you eat. It's not moving, it's not budging, it's not transferring, it's not doing anything. It's staying where it is. So this is a classic red and it really is a beautiful colour. So um, I'll apply that for you now. So the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick in the shade Besso is a classic red. So it's neither cool nor warm. It's described as a creamy matte with full coverage and stays in place for up to 12 hours. So this Stila liquid lipstick, it's beautiful. It really is. And as I said, I love it because it's not going anywhere. It stays where it is. It really does not budge. And it's a beautiful, neutral, classic sheer red. However, I would suggest that if you are not feeling confident with red lips, to wait before you try something like this because you do have to work a little bit harder to get it right. So you have to be really, really careful. And I'm definitely not being super careful putting this on <laughs> because once it dries down, it's quite hard to move. So not like the MAC lipstick or the Charlotte Tilbury that you can clean up really easily. This is going to be a little bit more tricky. So do bear that in mind. Uh, so now we'll move on to some arm swatches and I'll include a photograph with a flash and without. So we're going to start with Walk of No Shame by Charlotte Tilbury. We have the Red Square Pencil by NARS. The Brushing Red by MAC. We have Ruby Woo by MAC. Zero one by Sephora. And we have Beso or Beso by Stila. Don't Stop by Nas. So we have Walk of No Shame by Charlotte Tilbury. Nas Red Square, Mac Russian Red, Mac Ruby Woo, Sephora, 
number zero one Steeler Beso or Beso and Nas Don't Stop. So there we have it, my guide to choosing a perfect red lipstick for your skin tone, for your undertone and for your preferences. I really do hope that it was useful in some way and just remember red lip doesn't have to be scary, it can be so empowering. I really hope that you feel confident enough to go out there and grab yourself a red lipstick and not care what other people think because you know what, they're not thinking what you think they're thinking, they're probably thinking wow look at her she looks incredible yeah don't be scared give it a whirl thank you so much for joining me for another video i so appreciate you being here i'm really looking forward to seeing you in the next one but until then take care and bye for now